Hello viewers. Now in this session we are going to see some of the questions on WRC, particularly WRC 107, WRC 297, 537. Now these WRC bulletins are used by the piping engineers when we have to check the nozzle flexibility and the stresses at the vessels when the piping is connected to the static equipment like a vessel or to a column. But yeah, again, we need to see the limitations imposed, that is the D by T ratio, the T by T ratios are fulfilling within the WRC bulletin specified limitations. So let's proceed. WRC 107 is based on unpenetrated shell, while WRC 297 assumes a circular opening in a vessel. Well, that's quite true. We do have an unpenetrated shell considered into the equations of 107. While for 297, we do have a circular opening considered. So that's why that can be seen by the help of this image where the solid plug or we can have a hollow also attached to the shell in an unpenetrated shell. It all to get the stress evaluation done. As per WRC 107, for a spherical shell, the type of attachment considered are both round and square, round or the square. Well, we do have both round and square type of attachment considered into the WRC 107 stress computation for spherical shells. And that's provided into the para 3.2.2 as an attachment parameter for spherical shells, either round or square attachments may be considered. As per WRC 107 for spherical cell, the type of attachment considered are hollow, rigid or both rigid and hollow. Well, we do have both rigid and hollow type of attachment being considered for evaluation and the same is covered into the attachment parameters for spherical cells where either round or the square attachment may be considered and the rigid as the nozzle. But for the nozzle attachment, we need to include some of the additional parameters while the same is not valid for the rigid attachments where no such additional parameters is required in when we use those non-dimensional curves. As per WRC 107 for stress calculation, which stress is not considered? Is stress from the radial load or from the arbitrary loading or from the stress from the moment? Well, in this case, we do have all the stresses being addressed and not only these but a couple of more and uh, stress resulting from the shear loads and stress resulting from the torsional moments also. WRC 107 evaluates stresses into the nozzle only, shell only or both shell and the nozzle. Well, WRC evaluates stresses only into the shell. 297 does for both shell and the nozzles. So, the foregoing procedure provides one with a tool to find stresses in the shell but not in the nozzles. Next, WRC 107 stress evaluation can be used for the ellipsoidal cells. Well, that's quite true. It can be used for the ellipsoidal cells and the method may be applied. Next, in WRC 107 for cylindrical cells, stress computation can also be done for L bar R ratio less than 1, where L is the length and R is the mean radii of the shell. Well, that's false because we don't have the stress computations for L by R ratio less than 1 and that is provided into bulletin 107 and is also not considered applicable in cases where the length of the cylinder is less than its radius. This applies either to the case of an open-ended cylinder or closed-ended cylinder where the surface is appreciably modified for the case considered. Next, <clears throat> in WRC 107 for cylindrical shell, resultant stresses are affected very little by the ratio of cell length to the cell radius. Well, that's quite true. It's not affected much. It's only slightly affected. Something around the magnitude of 10 percentage when we hire now, curves included in WRC 107 for the cylindrical shell is for the ratio of shell length to cell radi radius L by R of 10 or 8 or 4 or 2. Well, actually the curves included and the bulletin are for the radius 8. 
and that's provided into the bulletin 107 way try the curves included in this report are for the l by rm ratio of 8 which is sufficient for most practical applications next question curves included in wrc 107 for the cylindrical shell for the ratio of shell length to cell radius l by r of 4 will be conservative or non-conservative well because the curves included are of 8 for 4 it's going to be conservative where it writes result based on l by rm ratio of 8 will be slightly conservative for lesser values of l by rm ratio next question curves included in wrc 107 for the cylindrical cells for the ratio of cell by length ratio cell by cell length to cell radius ratio of 20 will be well that is going to be slightly non-conservative and the same is addressed over there where it says However, the error involved does not exceed approximately 10% of L by RM values greater than 3, which should be sufficiently accurate for most calculations. WRC 107 is based on Professor P.P. Blizzard's theoretical and analytical work. Well, that's quite true and uh, that's been provided. Well, WRC Bulletin provides the works of Dr. C. Uh, Steele, while that of the Bulletin 107 provides by the Professor P.P. Bislard. Next, the absolute maximum stress intensity in the shell in either WRC 107 or WRC 207 lies at one of the eight points. That is four inside and four outside the surface. Well, that's not true. It's false. Book Pipe Stress Engineering by L.C. Peng, where it writes that a total of eight locations are evaluated. Well, the same is captured into the WRC button also, but this gives a clear pictorial representation of the eight points into the four upper and the four lower surface of the shell. Next, WRC is intended for stress evaluation for cylindrical nozzles attached to cylindrical cells. Which WRC? Well, cylindrical nozzle to the cylindrical cells are covered in 297 as well as 107, but 297 is very much particular for this one. Which WRC provides nozzle branch flexibility evaluation? Is it WRC 537, 297? For the nozzle branch flexibility evaluation, we use WRC 297. Which WRC bulletin considers shell reinforcement pad? None of the WRC bulletin mentioned over here, 297, 537, or 107 provides, considers the cell reinforcement pad. Which WRC bulletin addresses internal pressure loads for nozzle cylinder junction? Well, again, internal pressure load for the nozzle cylinder junction is uh, addressed in WRC 368. The welding research bulletin 368 addresses the internal pressure and the thirst, and this is provided into the WRC 368 bulletin. Well, the scene is captured into the Caesar 2. The Intergraph Bulletin, the papers presented in July 2001 for the modeling of internal pressure and thrust load on nozzle using WRC-368. Which WRC Bulletin provides thumb rule for cell reinforcement pad? Well, none does address reinforcement pad directly. WRC-368 provides it recommends a thumb rule where the equations are laid down and it can be seen with the help of this paper where the same has been addressed. Next, WRC 368 only addresses cylinder to cylinder intersections loaded under internal pressure for D by 2 ratio less than 10, 500, 100 or 1000. Well, 368 limitations are also same that of the 1000. WRC 107 and hence 1000 will be answer. Stress computed by WRC 107 or 297 falls under the B31 code rules. Well, that's not correct because it directly doesn't fall into the B31 code rule as local stresses are involved. So, because the stresses computed by WRC 107 are highly localized, they do not fall immediately under B31 code rules. Well, it's covered in section 8 division 2 does provide a detailed approach for dealing with these local 
stresses. So that was all in this WRC quiz. See you again. Bye.